What's good everyone, Shurit here. So today I am bringing you guys the one, the only, the budget Necros deck profile. Now most people probably clicked on this video thinking, Shurit, what drugs are you smoking? How on earth have you put budget and Necros in the same title? This has to be clickbait. This can't be true. Well guys, it is true. What if I told you I have managed to make a Necros deck which is playable it's not it's not like top tier or anything you know you know i'm not gonna i'm not saying you're gonna win your regionals or your ycs with this deck however it's really fun for casual play just like most of the decks on my channel are and what if i told you that this deck you can make it in less than 100 dollars now you're probably thinking sure it but valk valk is the main issue with the deck and you know you know how we sorted that out we just took out valk altogether guys so this is a valkless version of the deck so guys i'm gonna show you guys all the prices for the cards i'm gonna show you guys the ratios everything so this video is gonna take a long time to edit so please hit that like button and share the video all right share the video give me a couple of comments as well because this video is gonna take a lot of effort to make but for all you budget players out there which is a lot of people because like uh, like in the past i have had issues with being able to afford the right cards for decks and stuff so, and nowadays i don't even really play in real life i play mostly online so i do understand the issue with money in Yu Gi Oh, but if you guys are Necros fans, if you guys are fans of my channel and you want to play the Necros deck but you're not willing to drop $150 on a playset of Valks, this is the deck for you. Let's get straight into the duel, not into the duels, let's get straight into the deck profile. I've done a let's play this morning so I'm kind of like just in the dueling mode right now but deck profile mode, sure it, let's go. So first up guys, one copy of Necros of Decisive Armor. Now this card as you can see in the top right corner I think, this card is only 22 cent. You, 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 it's, you, you can find 22 cent on the floor guys. Necros of Decisive Armor, even though it's dirt cheap, it's a decent card, it's a nice beater. The 1000 attack point gain effect is really nice. Um, it can be over quite like there's a few monsters here and there I've noticed in the TCG uh, meta where they're, they're, they do have quite high attack points So decisive armor can help you beat over that as well The banishing a set card face down is really nice as well because you're not just destroying it You're banishing it you're getting rid of it from play overall overall a really solid card and without Vark in the deck I do recommend you do keep this card in I did try to play two copies But you know we still want to maintain consistency So I think one copy is more than enough and now next up we have one copy of Necros of Trishula now you guys are thinking Churi Trishula that is $22.80 even though that card is $22.80 we are still managing to keep the deck under $100 so Trishula I didn't want to have to cut Trishula out it's your main power play it's what Necros are known for it's the card that is going to win you the game okay so one copy of Trishula you is enough to be honest like if you're dropping more than one then we're kind of uh, if we're playing more than one then we're kind of you know taking away the budget aspect of the deck so trisha let everybody knows what he does banish a card from the hand banish a card from the field banish a card from the graveyard the fact that a budget deck can play him as well is really cool i think next up a card that is kind of neglected quite a bit because there's obviously better cards to play if you are playing the better version of the deck you know the version that costs a lot that is two copies of necros of gunga now both these copies of gunga they're going to cost you a dollar fifty they're 75 cent each each. No big deal there. Dollar fifty for secret rare gungas. Uh, gung gungas. Secret rare gungas is fine. Uh, I play two because what do you call it? You need a search off your non-ritual necros monsters for a spellcaster and the only other search you would have is unicorn so two copies is good plus the protection it offers is really nice because normally with valk valk ends the battle phase so he can protect your unicorn he can protect your trishula or whatever but because we're not playing valk we don't have that option to end the battle phase therefore we play two gunga to protect our unicorn or trishula from being destroyed because we do go to a pretty decent efforts to try to get them on the board so i think two copies of gunga is nice plus you will be able to summon this now more often because we are playing the two copies and because we don't have the option of going to into valk and gunga's destruction effect where you discard a necros card pop a card on the field is very nice plus the 2500 attack point is also decent so two copies of gunga i think is decent don't play, play more than two because you want to maintain your consistency next up a card renowned for being extremely expensive one copy of necros of Brionic that is only 17 dollars and 85 cent I say only because it's less than Trishula, which is a bit weird. However, I do understand why it's less than Trishula because it is limited in the TCG. Now, to think that Brio would go from $150 to $17.85 a couple later is absolutely insane. But you can actually get this card into the deck. It is a really important part of the deck because it's a level 6. You need it to be able to summon your Trishula. A lot of the time, you're going to be banishing Brio and Kalos from your graveyard to summon your Trishula. Therefore, you should keep it in the deck. If you guys can still not afford to buy the deck, even though it's underneath 
hundred dollars, then I suppose you could cut the brio out. I don't recommend it. You can still summon Trishula by cutting the brio out because we are playing the incantation monsters. Luckily, they they are only common slash rares. I think I think they're rares actually. They're rares in the new set, so they are pretty cheap. So if you guys still can't afford it, you want to bring it down to eighty dollars or so. You can cut the brio, but I really recommend you drop that extra seventeen dollars and keep it just under a hundred. Hundred dollars is fine, I think, for a budget deck. Next up, one copy of a card that's basically a meme: Necros of Catasto. Now, Catasto is going to cost you only twenty four cent. Pretty similar to Decisive Armor, Catasto it's extremely neglected not many people like it but because you're not playing the valk as i said because you have less options to go into catasto can be nice it obviously does have the ally of justice catasto like effect obviously the card is based off where if a necros monster attacks an extra deck monster that extra deck monster is instantly destroyed that is all right that is an all right effect and then if you discard catasto you can special summon one of your non-ritual necros monsters so i suppose it can open up some rank four plays for you as well i only i recommend only keep keeping the one copy in there because more than one once again you're or giving up that consistency and the good thing about this deck is it can still maintain it can maintain its consistency excluding the valk the valk is just a really good power play with the tributing it can do and the battle phase ending it can do but obviously that's probably why it is 48 dollars and a lot of people aren't willing to drop that so we can't really include that in the budget version of the deck next up one copy of necros of unicorn once again another dirt cheap card 44 cents there for necros of unicorn uh, it's pretty self-explanatory. It's one of the main combos in the deck. You get to zone out your opponent's extra deck. You get a search of Herald of the Ark. Like overall, really solid card. Wish it. Wish we could play more copies of it because it is a really strong card. But Konami, please, please put Unicorn back to two and please release sure it from the ban list. Okay, thank you very much, Konami. Next up, three copies of Necros of Colossus. Nothing's changed there. That is a dollar and ninety-two cent for the three copies of Necros of Colossus. Pretty simple. You just discard him. You get to search a card. Plus, with this deck, I am playing a lot of different targets in the extra deck for necros of necros collide scope because we had to cut out the expensive cards like tornado dragon out of the extra deck therefore you are going to be summoning colossalus more often than you would with the normal version of the necros deck so three copies is decent next up we are playing two copies of cyber angel ben 10 now ben 10 you are going to have to drop four dollars and a cent to get ben 10 there bent so like two dollars each Benton's a decent card because you can, what do you call it, you can tribute it uh, off Necro Cycle to bring back Brio from the graveyard, you can search a Manju or send you, so it does give you a kind of another reliable play, it does, it gives you kind of a pseudo Valk effect where you're tributing off cards to search more cards, it, because we're not including Valk I think it's a nice alternative to play, overall really solid card, I'm not playing the Christia because once again I really, it's hard to summon Christia 1, uh, uh, in, A it's hard to summon Christia and B, um, Christia can brick you as well, we are maintaining that consistency as i keep on saying right next up for the non-ritual necros monsters we play one copy of dance princess of the necros now dance princess of the necros um what do you call it uh, you're only going to be dropping 25 cent on that which is absolutely no big deal 25 cent is nothing as i keep on saying overall solid card you tribute it you can get back a banished necros monster so if you've already used your trishula and it's banished somehow you can get back your trishula you can get back your brio overall decent card not going to spend too long trying to explain that then one copy of great sorcerer of the necros 20 cents there once again 20 cent you'll find it on the floor no big deal there i know i know you guys are thinking you know sure you keep on saying 20 cent 20 cent is gonna add up but like i keep on saying under 100 dollars guys under 100 dollars next up one copy of Aerial. so far the cheapest card in the deck which is a 15 cent there once again 15 cent you, you, you'll find 15 cent anywhere guys so Aerial, it's all it's a decent card you get you you will uh the the fact that you can normal summon it reveal necros monsters in your hand to mess about with its levels can help you out because you do want to be able to summon your monsters and it is a little bit harder with the budget version of the deck so Aerial can come in clutch sometimes plus when it's tributed it gets you a non-ritual necros monster so you are making sure you don't lose too much card advantage next card you are going to have to drop a little bit of a bomb for these three copies and it's three copies of manju of the Ten Thousand hand Manju is pretty expensive, obviously, because there's a lot of ritual decks going about now, especially with incantations. That is fifteen dollars and seventy-two cent for Manju. There, um, it's all it's about five dollars each for each card, but it's no big deal, guys. There's not many cards that cost that much in the deck. It's kind of just like Trishula, Brio, Manju, and then the rest are dirt cheap. So no big deal there. I'm not really going to explain Manju. You normal summon it. You get a search. Same concept with the next card, which is Senju. Three copies for two dollars and seven cent. So Senju is a bit more neglected than Manju, obviously, because you can 
can only add ritual monsters with Senju, whereas with Monju you can add ritual spell cards as well. That's probably why Senju does cost a lot less than Monju. You can get three copies of Senju in uh, for half the price of one copy of Monju, which I think is a bit weird, but it is understandable there. Next up, the cards that made me make this deck profile. Basically, the Incantation Monsters, three copies of Imp Incantation Talismandra. That is going to cost you $2.13. No big deal there. It's a really solid card. Uh, the reason that I made this deck is because Budget Necros was really horrible before these cards were released because Valk was really important in the deck. Valk is still really important in the deck, but the Incantation Monsters give you a bit more consistency, which allow you to play a budget version of budget friendly version of the deck. Therefore, luckily they were released because then I wouldn't be able to make this deck profile and a lot of people have asked me to make this in the past and I've kind of just uh, glazed over it and be like yeah maybe I never really got around to it so Talismandra you reveal it with a ritual spell card not with a ritual monster and you special summon the candle and then you get a search of candle same concept with the next card which is incantation candle that's two dollars and 28 cents a little bit more than the incantation talismandra don't really know why but all these prices are of tcg player all these prices are the market value of um the um of the cards on tcg player obviously they can fluctuate here and there but in my opinion you're not going to be dropping more than twenty dollars uh, you're not going to be dropping $20 more of what I'm telling you or $20 less of what I'm telling you. It's gonna, this is kind of like approximately you're going to be spending around $100 on this deck. So free candle, decent card, doesn't cost too much luckily because Konami decided not to hollow it out. And then next up the ritual spells. The ritual spells are also pretty cheap. Two copies of Necros Mirror, Banish Monsters from the Graveyard, 22, uh, 72 cents Sorry for that. Obviously, it's a solid card. You get some nutrition off of it. Not much explanation needed there. Also, next up, two copies of Necro's uh, Kaleidoscope. Kaleidoscope is $2.02. Uh, it is more expensive than the Mirror and the Cycle. I don't really know why that is. I'm pretty sure the ratios for Kaleido were the same as Mirror, but maybe people recognize Kaleidoscope as being the better Necro's Ritual spell. Therefore, it costs more. I don't know, but $2.02 for two copies. Still no big deal there. And then next up, two copies of Necro's Cycle. That's $0.88. Cent. That's $0.44 cent for each one. It's a really good card especially with the ben 10 i do recommend you play the full two copies of this you don't need to you don't need to change the ritual spell ratio in my opinion 222 is always the best ratio for the necros deck and then next up luckily a card that's really cheap you can actually get a nice ultra rare version version of this as well which is three copies of preparation of rights now preparation of rights is really good because you get to search potentially two cards it only costs you one dollar and 89 cent for three copies it was reprinted in battle of legends relentless revenge so you have a nice shiny version of preparation of rights super rares are nice but obviously ultra rares are better ultra rares look nicer so preparation of rights one of my favorite cards as i always say and then next up one copy of dark hole dark hole come on it's 19 cent it's reprinted in literally every starter deck imaginable Dark Hole, Rugeki is too expensive, obviously, so Dark Hole is, is nice, it's reliable, you just blow up the field. And then finally, I thought we need some board, uh, some spell and trap removal, so I played three copies of Cosmic Cyclone, which is $4.47 for three copies. Decent, obviously, generic cards like that, staple cards like that, just no matter how many times they're reprinted, they are still going to cost quite a bit. $4.47 for a play set of Cyclones is decent anyways. Right, little disclaimer here, guys. Uh, Ash is about to be released like in about two weeks in the new uh, Shadows of Valhalla set. You know the set that has the Valkyries in there? It's going to be super rare, so it's going to be pretty easy to get because each pack has four super rares, one secret rare. So obviously, if Ash is going to only cost you like $15 or $20 for a play set, I guess you can swap out the Cyclones for the Ash or you can swap out some other cards for the Ash. If you guys do want to do that, then Ash is a really important card. As much as I hate it in um, today's meta game. So therefore, if you want uh, swap out a few cards for ash i do re i do um, recommend that over the cyclones or over something else in the deck but right now for right now if you guys aren't willing to go over the hundred dollar mark because obviously ash is going to cost more than the free copies of cosmic cyclone or the other cards that you're going to take out then i do recommend you keep the deck like this um if ash is cheaper then obviously i it's a good card you need to put in there anyways enough about ash guys so that is the main deck if you guys want to know this the total for the main deck the main deck is going to cost you 81 dollars and 95 cent in total that doesn't seem too bad for a main deck considering single cards can cost that much so 
to get all them cards, to get the trishulas, to get the brio, to get the manju, to get the incantations, to get the preparation of rites, to get the ritual spells, to get the bentens, all that in $81.95, all that in route, if we round it up, that's $82, is really good guys, so I do recommend you do try out this deck if you do have $100 spare, because, you know, I'm sure you guys are, if you are watching this channel, you must be fans of Necros and you want to play Necros, so I do recommend you guys try it out. Um, so next up guys, for the extra deck, so um, what I want to put in here is another disclaimer, basically the copies of the cards you see on the screen are maybe like secret rare or ghost rare or something uh, basically that doesn't mean that you guys are going to be able to buy the ghost rares or the secret rares most likely you're going to be buying super rares or rares or commons because that's how budget deck budget decks work it's just that the saved cards the pictures of the cards that i have saved uh that's th that's the variety of them i generally like putting up the uh, highest variety of the cards in my deck profile so it's no big deal guys you guys know that if i'm telling you a card's 20 cent it definitely is 20 cent and you guys can check that out on tcg player yourself so anyways for the extra deck first up two copies of five headed dragon that's going to cost you 70 cent it's just a level 12 that you can use to send to the graveyard off of necros kaleidoscope to summon like a trishula to summon a colossalus you know kaleidoscope can allows you to send extra deck monsters to the graveyard as tributes to summon multiple necros monsters so two copies of five headed dragon that's probably the cheapest uh, level 12 monster out there it's reprinted so many times it was reprinted in millennium pack all that so pretty simple two copies of five headed dragon next up one copy of crimson nova trinity the dark cu cubic lord that is the level 10 monster so you can summon like gunga and colossalus you can summon unicorn brio you can summon you know uh, generally, you know, if you add up the levels and you get a level 10, then you can send Crimson Nova off Kaleidoscope to some of the, the combined Necros ritual monsters that levels equal 10. Um, if you guys want to play any other level 10 monster, or if you have any other level 10 monster lying around, then do use that. But Nova Trinity is only 28 cents, so it's pretty cheap there. It's been reprinted in the movie pack a billion times, so... Crimson Nova Trinity, simple. Next up, one copy of Metal Force Crimson Knight. It's your level 9. If you want to summon a Brio and a Colossalus, or if you want to summon a Catasto and a Unicorn, you send that to the graveyard. Crimson Knight only going to cost you 17 cents, so pretty simple there. Next up for the level 8, uh, XYZ Dragon Cannon, because I think I'm cool. Uh, it's 17 uh, cents there. You can summon a Catasto and a Colossalus. You can summon, I think that's the only thing you can actually summon off there, a Catasto and a Colossalus. But sometimes it will come up, obviously. you got to be ready for all situations, especially when you're playing a budget deck. And you do have a lot of room in the extra deck because we had to cut out cards like Utopia, the Lightning and everything because they are really expensive. So the level 8 is XYZ Dragon Cannon, dirt cheap. And then one copy of Thousand Dragon, which is a level 7 you can summon unicorn colossalus with that this one does come up quite a bit because uh unicorn can zone out extra deck monsters and uh catasto is about to say colossalus can put their attack points down to zero it's uh, colossalus comes in pretty handy against sky striker honestly if you guys have watched my let's play devi ritual necros you will see a uh, colossalus being an absolute beast against sky striker but yeah with a uh, thousand dragon thousand dragons being reprinted so many times it's 21 cents there probably from the millennium pack i think next up an essential card in the deck that does cost a little bit more is two copies of herald of the arc light herald costs four dollars and 76 cents for both of them copies you obviously send it to the graveyard off of necros kaleidoscope to summon unicorn the reason we play two is because you can get your unicorn back off of your dance princess and if you want to kaleidoscope again then you need the herald in the uh, extra deck in order to summon that unicorn again plus it's pretty cheap it's only like a two dollar card so no big deal if you guys are playing two copies next up another next up for the exes monsters one copy of dark rebellion exes dragon 82 cents there a little bit more than the other fusion monsters dark rebellion is a really clutch card if you guys watch my um demise let's play you guys will notice that i didn't have the dark rebellion in the extra deck and that made me lose the game unfortunately but dark rebellion can, can come in clutch a lot a lot of a lot of the time people are going to be boosting up their monster attack points and dark rebellion can come in and be an absolute blowout against them so next up we have one copy of castell castell uh, general removal two dollars and twelve cents it's a it's a staple rank for so that's probably why it costs a little bit more than the other ones but still then two dollars is absolutely nothing as well just shuffle back a monster into the deck pretty simple next up my main man number 41 baguska 
Baguska, oh my god, 43 cent has been reprinted twice. It's been printed twice now, not reprinted twice, but printed twice now. Uh, it's 43 cent. It's dirt cheap. If you're going first, you can just summon a unicorn, summon a mind, you make this and zone out your opponent so that when next turn comes around, you can summon your ritual monsters and absolutely murder them, guys. So, overall, really nice card. Next up, one copy of uh, Diamond Dire Wolf. Diamond Dire Wolf is $2.81. It's a bit more expensive because it hasn't been reprinted enough, but once again, you, we do, we still are underneath the $100 threshold so you are allowed to play this card if you guys want to put something else in there and save a couple of dollars then you do you guys it's no big deal but this is kind of the general gist of the budget necros deck then we have one copy of abyss dweller dweller is really good it's $1.19 which is really cheap because it's, it was uh, printed in the secret forces the set that necros came out in uh, most of the time you're going to have a unicorn underneath it so he is going to be able to boost all your water monsters attack points by 500 so trishula will go up to 3200 to Decisive Armour will go to 3,800, which is really nice. You know, we like having enough damage on board to win the game. Talking about enough damage on board to win the game, one copy of Gaga Gaga Cowboy. Cowboy is really nice. A lot of people are using this now because of the new uh, time rule, you know, in the YCSs where if you go into, t there's no more time in Yu-Gi-Oh or something like that. 92 cents, dirt cheap once again. Nice card. With Necros, a lot of the time, you are going to just about get them down to about 500 life points and Cowboy can just about finish them off. So pretty simple. And then to round it all off, one copy of Gaga Gaga Samurai. Once again, if you want to push for game, it can attack twice. It was popular in Zodiac format. It's only 49 cents. So if you guys want to play it, do play it. It's pretty cheap. So there we go. That's it for the main deck and the extra deck. So let's just give you guys some numbers here. So the extra deck, first of all, the total for the extra deck is $15.07. That is amazing considering one extra deck card can cost that much. One extra deck card can cost three times that amount. So the fact that we got all the extra deck in there for $15 is really nice there. So overall, guys, the main deck is $81.95. The extra deck is $15.07. Therefore, the grand total of this deck is $97.02. Just, just, just take a moment to look at that. $97.02. That is absolutely nothing, guys, to be able to play such an amazing deck. For a budget deck, it is really good. Like Compared to other budget decks, you have like, you know, Shino Birds, you have... Um, there's there's a lot of decks out there that a lot of people will neglect like even the demise deck you can't possibly play that budget if you took out like the cards I play like evenly match and ash and stuff because all the cards are rare but with necros it's still a really strong deck because the incantation monsters prep is still at free as well so the grand total is $97.02 and for um, don't worry guys I haven't forgot about the British people I am British myself I haven't forgot about you Europeans obviously you guys are going to be buying it off different sites you're not going to be buying it off TCG player but world wide the prices barely fluctuate so with pounds uh with 97 dollars and two cent in pounds is 74 dollars 74 pounds and 70 cent that is it 70 cent 74 dollars and 60 pence there we go I'm, i live in britain and i don't even know my own currency so 75 pounds guys that's absolutely nothing for a deck once again ash back in the day when she was first released cost 75 pound by herself so I, I'm sure you guys can pick up this deck if you guys do want to. And finally, for you Europeans out there, that is 83 euros and 78. What what do you call your what do you call like pence cents in euro? I don't know. Eighty three seventy eight in euros basically. So even you Europeans, that's less than a hundred euros there. So if you guys want to try out the deck, I do recommend you try it out. I absolutely love the deck. I'd be more than willing to play this deck if I couldn't afford the Valks, of course. Uh, honestly, guys, try it out. I hope you guys enjoy it. I hope you guys like the video, and I'm happy that I have spent a lot of time into this video to play the budget uh, to not play the budget necro. See, I'm still in dueling mode, guys to make the budget necros deck and edit it and put all the prices up for you guys so if you guys are willing to pick it up pick it up this has been sure it peace